Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got some goodies to share with you today from You Are Best Deals. They were kind enough to let me choose some items to share with you all. So I'm going to start with the smallest because it's easier for my poor desk to cope <laughs> with things being unpacked. And this one is a special. It's got a little bit of a crinkle on the top coat and that's because this corner doesn't have glue to stick the diamonds down. So it didn't have glue to keep it in place. But look, I do like a nice bright image. So this is down as a 30 by 40. It has 11 different special diamonds. But look at the confetti that you end up with on that turtle, where you just place in a few diamonds in lots of different places. Varies up the special diamond paintings. So you get a toolkit plus bags. So boat wax pen and bags. And then for the diamonds, we do have a few different shaped ones, or do we only have one? We have one, I think. No, we don't, we have more. They're tucked in. So we have, in normal rhinestones, we have blue and silver, yellow, green, more blue, but a, a lighter blue. Then we have some red, some pink, and some purple. So a nice, good colour selection of those. Then in a slightly bigger diamond, we have these pearlized blue. That's a gorgeous colour. And then we have these bigger silver ones. And we also have these in like a bronze, bronzy type colour. No, maybe a bit more champagne. No, it's darker than, it's between champagne and bronze. It's not quite light enough for one and not quite dark enough for the other if that even makes sense. But a nice different variety, and I do like the fact that, especially this turtle at the bottom, let me just get these diamonds back in before I forget which ones are which. Um, I do really like the fact that that is like, it's like a little patchwork on it, so it gives you some nice variety with where you're placing them. Um, and then we've got big ones scattered throughout, and we've got some, some of those um, champagne bronzy ones making up little flowers. Nothing like a nice bright piece of sparkle in your life. Okay, number two. Sometimes by the time these arrive, well not even so much by the time these arrive because they do arrive pretty quick. By the time I, I get to unbox these, after they've arrived sometimes. I kind of forget what it was that I've ordered. It's like a nice, nice bit of uh, fun finding it. Oh, this one. Okay, so this is one that you could possibly class it as a partial because of some of the, the gaps here, for example, on these sails. But I'd say this is a rhinestone full drill or pretty much as full as you're going to get. Um, there is 18 different colours in this one so you can see that's the image but it's amazing how it transforms especially the likes of the background where quite often it's a very similar, they're very similar or same colour but in different sizes and it can really really make the image pop. So it's down as a 30 by 40. The actual diamond painting area is just short of 34 by about 24. So it's about a three centimeter border all the way around. But oh, have a look at these colors. If you like doing special diamond paintings and like working with the rhinestones, you can get some really, really nice full drill ones now, or pretty much full drill. But we have some silver and purple. Then we have a nice, see look, I'm liking the blues, and a yellow, yellowy orange. 
nice lime green. I love lime green in rhinestones. Red, and then we have what looks like 310, so it hasn't got the silver back, but only a little bit. Then we've got a couple of blues. Oh, look, gorgeous lime green pearlized ones. We've got some in a different shape, which is where you end up with the sort of partial look to it because there is gaps. Then we've got some bigger ones in silver, bigger ones in orange. So if you see here, this, this sort of section now is where it starts to, the background starts to come into its own. So these three, by the looks of it, 13, 14 and 15, yeah, so they form like the sun. So there's three different sizes that form into the sun. But then for the background, this is what you end up with. So you've got the standard rhinestone size and then in the same colour you've got the medium one and you've got the bigger one. And it creates a really nice sort of, um, what's the word for it? It's like a texture. So not only do you end up with the sparkle in the background, but this is what you can't get from like a normal diamond painting. The sparkle's different on a special diamond painting anyway, but the fact that you've got the smaller diamonds along with the bigger ones, it really gives some nice depth. That was the word I was looking for. It gives some, it gives some really nice depth to the painting for the background and it varies it up. For, for you that's diamond painting, it makes it a little bit different and a little bit more fun, should we say. Oh, we did get a toolkit as well. And then, last but by no means least, let's go for the one that's gonna take over my desk, potentially. I can't remember what size it is. Ah, oh, I, I slightly remember what it is now. Yes, it is actually a multi-panel. So while this is a big one, you can cut this down into, let's say, bite-sized chunks. Let me just move those diamonds out of the way because I will want to grab hold of the paintings in a minute when this one's done. But, oh, this is the Christmas one as well. Look at this. Oh. How much fun is that as a sort of multi-panel? We've got Santa's sleigh going over the town in nice winter blues. It has 24 different colours um, and they do have DMC numbers. There's no 310 for anybody that's interested. And... No, I'm guessing it's it's just these blues, this star one probably. 996 is probably one of the ones you have the most of. And 995 for this S is probably some of the diamonds that you have the most. But these are great if you mount them on foam board. So I've done a few multi-panels that I then stick onto a piece of foam board, cut the foam board off from around the edge and you can have as big or as small a gap as you want. In between them you can have them with a tiny sliver of a gap you could even have them right next to each other if you wanted depending on what works for your space but this is a fun one that you could put up at Christmas and if you put the foam board up with command strips you can just take it down each year and put it back up later on um, oh you get two pens and two boats and a big piece of wax in case you're somebody that shares I'm not not when it comes to diamond painting anyway. And then these are the colours. So these are your two sort of biggest packs of blues. But then you do have some other shades of blue with of course a little bit of a, a pop of yellow as well for the sun. Um, and they all come done by weight and they all come packed in little grip seal bags. And it's nice because you can just chop one panel off and just do one panel and work your way through. Sometimes it's nice to do the small panel, you know, so that you, you've got that sense of getting something achieved and work your way up to the big one, but then 
go down to the smaller ones again and then you know feel when you're near the end you're doing it quite quick some people like to do the big one first it really varies i like to keep the exciting ones to the end so i'd probably keep this panel to the end because it's got the most activity in one place um, but other than that there's actually quite a nice little scattering of confetti in the sky on this one so i don't think any of them are particularly boring which is always a plus but I will, of course, pop the links down to these below. Um, thank you to you, our best deals, for, for sending me these to share with you all. But we've got lovely Christmas scene. It is in a round, by the way. Then we have this funky, what I call full drill rhinestone one with an awesome background. And then we've got, upside down. I don't think it really matters when it's turtles swimming, but um, gorgeous turtles as well for a little bit of extra sparkle. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.